yeah so good morning everyone welcome back to my youtube channel at otenga junior yeah guys is another wonderful day that god has given unto us and today it is very early in the morning here in kenya and this village is called kibo village in rongo or kibo estate in rongo yeah so today i waken up very early because there is some stuff that we want to do in the village the one that i I told you what I give you the overview yesterday. Yeah, the kind of big surprise that uh, we're gonna have for Mama Boy. And uh, first of all, I wanna say thank you very much for always coming back to watch my videos. That is to say, the returning subscribers, you know, with you, you keep this channel growing. And I'm really, really humbled about it. Thank you. And also, if maybe you're coming across this channel for the first time and you haven't subscribed, please consider by subscribing to my youtube channel yeah today it is very very cold and as you can hear i'm having some like a kind of running nose you know yeah but uh with time as the sun sun gonna comes up up it's just gonna be normal guys i'm so happy uh, to always almost supporting the work that i'm doing in my village you know the aim is to spread love yeah and share with others the privileged one you know and god bless you for this prayer lady today she is going to be a happy lady because she is going to have her toilet completed yeah the parts that are remaining are older and also mama boy too she's also going to be very very happy because she is going to have a new roof on top of of her house so Right now, I'm just headed to the area. I just want to go buy the materials that are going to be used in her roof and uh, the carpenters who are going to work at her house, they are already there and it is very, very early. Yeah, so we have to do this so that at least we spread love. The thing I like about now is Mama Boy, when we first went there, she was only having one structure. But now she's going to have another added added structure that is her new kitchen that is coming up yes still there are not a lot of people in here at rongo town still there is few people few individuals because it is still very very early in the morning and guys we usually wake up almost every day in the morning so today i've decided just to start my day with you how it usually starts yeah, so when it reach around uh, 9, there will be a lot of people who will be here. You know, the shops will be open, but still, there are no shops open here. Yeah, some have been open, but some yet are, are not still open here. Yeah, so we have got the metallic workshop here, where you get your windows, doors, you know. Yeah, also the bedding. Wow, so amazing. So I wanna get into this equity agent store. I wanna withdraw some cash, then I go to the hardware. Yeah, so from that store, I have withdrawn the money. Yeah, and uh, the total amount that I received uh, from the store there is around 46,000 Kenyan shillings. Not around, but 46,000. Yeah, so the work that you're going to do, I received 46,284 yeah so I had to re withdraw 46,000 because uh, the transaction cost for that kind of, of money from equity agent by the way the bank that I'm using is equity uh, is uh, around 230 let me let me confirm yeah so you can see here the charge for the transaction of that kind of money is 234 Kenyan shillings yeah, so how to withdraw that. Now, right now, I am headed to the store where we are going to buy the material. Yeah. Wow, so it's kind of bad luck because it is still early and uh, the hardware hasn't been opened yet. Wow. So maybe I'm going to look for a different place where I can go buy. But let me wait for them or let me make a call to see if they can come because uh, this hardware right here it is the cheapest one, the one that I usually buy. So I'll give them five minutes, five to ten minutes. If still not yet, 
I'll go and uh, buy in another different area. Patient has paid off. They have opened the door. And uh, let's just now negotiate. Then we're going to catch up later. Ah. Oh, so guys, uh, we are finally off to the village. This is now the new look of Brongo Town. You remember last time when we were recording the videos here? This uh, road was being tarmacked. Now you can see how wide it is. Eh? Yeah, so right now we are complaining. They have not uh, put the mark. Yeah, it should have a two-way traffic, you know. Yeah. But uh, they have not put the mark. So from here, we are now on the way with the materials. Yeah. Here, you can see, we have the materials at the back of the truck or the back of the tuk-tuk. Okay. My guy here, the driver, can see me. Hello. Yeah, so right now we are in the village. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, we are here finally in the village. Passing near our school, Kitambe Primary School. And something funny, we have got electricity in the village, but no connection. If you can see those trees, it, it shows like the power is passing there because uh, uh, the leaves are being burnt. But no connection, even towards the school. Yeah, so the electricity poles just reached here. Yeah. The wiring was done in the schools, but I don't know, is, is it because of the carelessness of the villagers? They go inside and steal the wires in the school, so yeah, there is still no power here. Yeah, so the bad thing is people doesn't respect or value what they have. Yeah, and you can see this view looking so amazing, man. Yeah, and as you can see, people have started plowing again. They want to go to a planting season. Yeah, in Kenya, <coughs> the staple food is maize. And uh, it's being planted uh, twice in a year. Yeah, there is the one that's uh, being planted uh, around uh, March. And harvesting time is uh, July to August. Then, there is one that is being planted on uh, September. Then the harvesting period is uh, December to January, you know? Yeah. yeah, so during January, January in Kenya, it is the dry season. Yeah, we call it, we call it January, not January again. <laughs> because of how hunger, that time there is so much hunger and no money. Because you find people waste a lot of money on Christmas. Wow. And uh, over there, you can see that homestead. Wow. They are making it. It's looking so amazing. Wow. There is a white guy who has got a homestead over there. Yeah. So maybe anybody who's watching this video and you are in abroad and you want to come and live in Kenya, yeah, you are permitted to come free and Kenyan people are friendly yeah those children are wondering what's that making a lot of noise in the village you know that's just show you how remote our village is even vehicles things like tuk tuk it's hard for them to come yeah so here we are I know you are familiar with this place Berber. yeah I'm greeting my moms over there yeah so here we are in the village already 
And uh, for your information, guys, this one that you see, this house that you see here, it is a church. And it is an international church called Power of, Power of Jesus Around the World of Washington Ogonyongere. And here, we are here finally. You can see the toilet and the work is ongoing here. Wow, I'm so happy. Today, we are going to have a different face here. It is only that uh, the guys who are supposed to come very early to help me work here, they've come very late. So my tuk-tuk guy, he has to do the rivers, you know, so that he comes. Ah, Jarelo. Hey now, you know what I'm doing in the area, Kai? You said I'm in the area. Come on, hey. Uga. Jambriyambo, hini. Jambriyambo. Hey, hey. Yeah, so guys, uh, good morning, mama boy. How are you? You are very fine, eh? Yeah, so guys, mama boy is here. And uh, you can see she's uh, doing some washing here. These ones you are going to give me, eh? No. Why? <laughs> These ones are mine. Whenever nowadays I see ugali remaining, I need it for my chicken. So, you have woken up very well, eh? I did. You did uh, you've woken up? Very nice. Okay, that is what I'm asking you. <laughs> I did not understand you. Oh, you did not understand me? Yeah. yeah, I can see today you have got good fresh energy. You are energetic, man. Yeah, so my cousin here too is here. How are you? I'm fine. Very fine. Very, very fine. Yeah, guys, uh, the thing I like about my cousin here is very, very active. Every time he has been here, you know, at prayer ladies' toilet, she, he was there. Here too, he was here. He's here, not he was here, but he's still here. This one, the timbers that you see here, he's the one who has cut them. Wow, he has been a very amazing guy. And guys, to the people who are saying, oh, we need to construct my cousin a toilet, like the one that we've been constructing, here he is. And now you have got all the reason to help him get a good toilet because he has been a very, very su supportive guy. And I like that. Greet me again, bro. Wow, man. Thank you very much for and being you here. you tell me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to, I have to be here. Yeah. With the fundies. Yeah. Because you are, not, you are away. Yeah. You cannot transfer without. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. And they are still cutting the uh, the timbers. It, it did not be enough, eh? It is not enough, eh? Mm, the timbers right. are not enough. So how many are you cutting from there? From your, uh, yeah. From our uh, forest there? Only two. Only two, yeah? The remaining is downtown. It's down, oh, down, down there? Oh, okay, Outside. from Oh. Yeah, so, guys, uh, we bought Dumuzas. Yeah, Dumuzas Mabari, 32 gauge MRM. Yeah, MRM is a, one of the companies here in Kenya that produce good quality of Mabari. Yeah, so, we've bought 32 pieces of iron sheet. And you can see Frank and uh, a boy, they have also taking part in offloading the material here. Yeah, so also we bought the nails and I'm also going to show you the receipt. Yes, so this one is for Mama Aboy. Yeah, Uncle, thank you very much. Mama Boy will never, never go to the chamber without a gum boot. Yeah. Hey, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you are very happy, yeah? very happy. <laughs> ah, guys she did not leave me to give her she was like i need to take this thank you very much hey. so uncle god bless you now mama boy will have a gumboot i bought her number seven because i asked her what number is she wearing then she tells me she's wearing number seven so you can you can pee more you can measure let me measure yeah hey, oh you wanna wash your legs yeah, measure, measure. But because my body nyalo inyi. Ah, yeah. Don't. Ah, yeah. So she's she's washing her legs so that she measure, so that we see if it's fitting her. And guys, we have got a new guy here in town. Maybe you can just say hello. Yeah, good morning to you. Yeah, how are you, are you doing? Fine. Very fine, eh? We also at work. Okay. We are fine. Oh yeah. Yeah. So guys, it's also one of the carpenters here, and today, now they are working here, two carpenters here. Yeah, his popular name is called Jadwong Odongo. 
Odongo Marura himself. Yeah. yeah, Baba. Baba who? Baba Kodede. Baba? Baba Kodede. Oh, Baba Kodede. Kodede. <laughs> and again, guys, is very, very funny guy here. Let's say hello to this guy, this gentleman here. Yeah. Hello, my friend. Eh? How are you? Morning. You're fine, eh? Morning, morning, morning. Oh, guys, uh, the sun is not making us seem very clearly. So, he's the guy who is in charge of this work. And I've brought you all the materials that you need. You, you know our deadline, our time? Yeah, you know, eh? <laughs> we need a perfect job, eh? Something that will no look so neat, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so guys, it is time now to pay my gentleman here. I'm sorry for making you late. No problem. Yeah, so it's called Walter. He's a tuk-tuk guy in uh, Rongo. So maybe if there is somebody who's watching this video and uh, my plant is tough to be transported to different places because now his center is Rongo. So he can be coming to my village, maybe going to sites of Nyarat. They, they, everywhere you can contact him. Would you mind sharing your number so that? Okay, the, the number is uh, 0727253575. Yeah, so that is his number. Maybe if it goes very fast, you can pause or you can rewind the video so that you get it clearly. So if you're watching this video, he can help you in transportation. The thing I like about him, he does not overcharge his clients. Yeah, so like uh, the transportation that we are going to pay him now is uh, 1,500 Kenyan shillings. Yeah, and the distance is very, very far from Rongo town to Kitembe village. Yeah, so I'll pay him, then we catch up with Yeah, it is about time to go now. Mama boy is now measuring the gum boots. Wow. She will never walk with the barefoot again at the shamba. Wow. Magi makoro kada kada dan dan nindo magi makora chikwa do the old day kwa ni koni ni wow wow gigoro gigoni ah so beautiful mama boy now have got a gumboot and now she will not go to the shamba without a gumboot mama boy I hope you are happy I am very very happy very very yes <laughs> yeah so uncle God bless you wherever you are now mama boy finally have got a gumboot but they did not even think of something like this but finally you thought about it wisely now when she will be working at the shamba the garden here she will be wearing the gum boots ah nisawa so mama boy is going somewhere she's going to bring mandazi each cup Ooh, this one yeah from the same company dumuzas yeah you know dumuzas this is uh, the kind of iron sheet that is so so nice so this is two meters yeah, that we bought. Yeah. This is a two okay. meters rich cup. One goes for 400 Kenyan shillings. We bought 10. That is ra ra uh, roughly 4,000 Kenyan shillings. Plus addition, uh, we bought 32 iron sheet. That is a 1050 times 32. It is around 33,000 plus something. But guys, I'm going to show you the receipt that uh, we've used and how much we've uh, used uh, in purchasing all the stuff. Also the nails. Yeah, the rubber, these ones are the rubber that's going to be used to prevent rain, the leak from getting in. Uncle said, I need something that's going to look so nice. Yeah, so thank you very much, Uncle. Thank you very much, Auntie Jay. God bless you for coming up with this uh, good idea so that uh, Mama, a boy, can have a beautiful uh, roof, you know. Yeah, so as you can see now, they are uh, removing uh, rotten timbers that they fix it. So that they start uh, putting the iron sheet again yeah so guys are uh, finally from mama boy's place we are finally here at prayer ladies home and right uh, in front of me you can see we have got a beautiful toilet guys today was the last day that we are working here and i thank god the mason came very early in the morning and now he is doing what we call final touches but with me here i have got a boy a boy greet me one greet me it's called a boy yeah a boy is also a popular name here you know yeah i don't know a boy landlord does he have a church name yeah like here we have got a carl a gang those are people who are uh, from churches and him you know in a call you know school 
Yeah. Yeah. So Moses, how are you? I'm good. Very fine. Eh? Yes. Yeah. So far, how is the job? Well, the job has been well. Yeah. And today, actually, is it, it's coming to a completion. Yeah. So I thank the Almighty God for having brought us this far. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. So that is from Moses, and uh, next week, Tuesday, he will be going back to school. Is it? No, You're going? It's not Tuesday. Monday. I'm going on fourth. Fourth. Happening on fourth. Oh, your school it's calendar is different with the. <laughs> yeah, How? Fourth. Why? I don't know because it's a private school. It was said it, it was registered fourth. Okay, when you get a good grade, that will take you to university. Which which course are you going to take? Okay, I want I want to go and pursue a course of journalism. Journalist, yes, eh? Yeah. Okay, now now this is the platform. Do you do your things? <laughs> <laughs> Be a news reporter now. <laughs> Anchor <and> news. <laughs> because are you practicing it in school? Yeah, I'm practicing it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, give us a show. Give us a show. Okay, who do you look up to in Kenya? Like uh, a journalist that you look up to? John, John Walk in, uh, in Uganda. Oh. Yeah. John, eh, then you go international in Uganda again. <laughs> I thought somebody yeah. in Kenya. But anyway, no problem. So can, can, we, can we hear a bit from you? Have, are you are you anchoring the news in school? Yes, I'm anchoring news. In school? Yeah. Oh, you present news, eh? Yes. What has happened in school? Yes. yes okay. School. Okay, now, here we've been working. Now, give us a news about how you started the job here. Okay. <laughs> After today. Okay. okay, let's hear from you. Okay, then say, uh, the beginning day, like, uh, I didn't find it uh, that easier. Because it was the, the beginning day that uh, I, 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 began, I began this job. So it was my first time that I began it, and uh, uh, I got assistance from uh, various people like Robert, who was helping me and showing me how I could do it, and I thank him so much. But uh, with time, I got used to it, and uh, as it has come now to completion, I'm very much used to it, and I can also go and do it somewhere else. Right, right now, I, I got uh, some little skills that I have got from the masonry, and right mm. now I think I can do something. Better. And the condi the condition of working has been so much uh, uh, good, and I can say that I thank for everyone that has been here with us. Yeah. Oh wow, that's so wonderful. But now you are uh, a laborer, and you're working with yeah. barefooted, yeah. man. Footed, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I think that is a, a good uh, line. Yeah, go for it. Eh? Yeah, and I know God will open your ways. And keep doing practice every day. I'm so amazed with what you are pursuing. And again, we have got Anthony. Guys, you remember Anthony? Anthony is here. Yeah, there was a lady who saw Anthony. I think the, you, 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 that day you put on a yellow, it was a yellow t-shirt. You are passing by that place when you are giving Aman some money to go and pay in school. In school. But that lady saw you and he, she paid for you some money. Now, here you are. How are you? I'm fine. Very fine, eh? Yeah. Yeah, so you are Anthony who? Anthony Oching Ogola. Anthony Ogola. Yeah, so you are learning at Kanyawanga. Yeah. Okay. He has told us what he's going to pursue in a uh, <laughs> university. How about you? Uh, like, I want to pursue a course of mechanical engineering. Oh, yeah. you want to deal with vehicles? Okay, that's so nice of you. So you want to be an engineer. Yeah. After school, you go and do it. Yeah, I hope he will be on TV. He buy a vehicle, he repair. <laughs> <laughs> or he don't want that. <laughs> so he be, he be your boss. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, but it is still good, you know. With you, you can open your company. You don't look it in a scale like, okay, after... Uh, getting the skills now I go work under somebody okay you can start by working under somebody and you open your big garage so that you employ people and you get good income and you change life you know yeah the dream is to just to change the life nothing else you know we come from this home you know how it is eh? so we young generation we need to uplift it in a way that uh, people like him when they will be now grown up they won't get it so tough the way we are getting it right now. Yeah, so I'm so, so happy for you, man. Mm. Yeah, and also we have got Aman. Aman is just happy. You know, Aman has been happy from yesterday. Guys, I think you saw him. 
he has been so so happy so aman how are you today i'm fine very fine eh? yes so let me just come near today is a day that moses started by telling us what he's going to pursue when he finishes uh, his education <laughs> and you what are you going to pursue yeah one after out of form four i want to go and pursue civil engineering oh yes. civil engineering yes. oh so generally you are going to capture construction yes. everything yes. wow that's so nice even me yes. i had a dream me i had a dream to be mona jeshi i wanted to be a jeshi or do construction but all failed man <laughs> because of lack of money but we thank god we are here still it is not too late but that by the way you know that one is a good cause yeah if you pursue it and you do it in a, a nice level you will go far you will be a very different person because you know with this construction never ends like do you know Kansas city no yeah it is a new technology city that is being constructed in ukambani so construction is evolving and again Kitere is also growing. Yes. So here again we will have uh, people like uh, Moses, he will be a journalist, yes. he will want to build a nice house. Yes. So you will he will hire you <laughs> to construct for him a house. Yes. And Anthony too will be a mechanical engineer. So after that he will be having his money and he hire you to construct him a beautiful house. Yes. So when you are when 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 you construct him a house, you get a car and you take to <laughs> Anthony. Anthony. <laughs> now it is just a circle, you know, it is a circle. And with him, when there is a problem in the village, you come to him. Oh Brian, bro, there is something here. Let people know what's happening in our village, you know. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And how's the job man? So good. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Mm, I just thank oh, yeah. the guy who supported us to okay. get a new toilet. Okay. Yeah, I, I too, I'm so, so happy because you will be not going to bush again. Yes. Yeah, because that one is like a bush. Guys, from yeah. here, I'm going to take you down there so that you see what we're talking about. Now, uh, so that it doesn't make this part of the video so long, let me just show you what I just happened. You see here, we finished uh, the floor, putting the flooring. And uh, we have got a bowl, you know, toilet bowl, where if they put their stuff inside there, it locks. So here we will need a brush, yeah, toilet brush that we will need to buy for them a toilet brush, two of them because we have got two doors. So the way you see here, it is the same way there is. And again, uh, what also we will be needing here is a we will need a we will need a, a how you call it tiles, huh? Yeah, we need tiles which the person here had already given me the quotation we need four boxes of tiles and uh, one bag of cement for this job to be done yeah so uh, for for us not to run in inconveniences we might need two bags of cement so so that we don't run in any inconvenience like what happened yeah so that one is what we'll be needing here and again you can see at the pavement like we can just call it pavement here he is now finishing. This is the final part of this job. So that uh, when somebody comes from the washroom here, they don't step down. So this is what is taking place. Yeah, and I'm so, so happy. So guys, uh, I think when you'll be hunting over this house, uh, this toilet, that is maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, if, if it will happen to be tomorrow, I'll tell you the quotation of, I mean, the amount of money that has been used here so that we finish this toilet up to this far and we thank god our auntie in america yomo you already sent us money for painting and already i bought the painting so money for painting we have have it already yeah the money that i'll be paying the mason will be painting it also i have that yeah so everything is moving along very well and as you can, can see up there uh, we've sealed it in a way that when when the water drips uh, rain it cannot drip inside uh, the the toilet yeah so that's that yeah so guys uh from prayer ladies home we are finally back here once again this is at mama a boy hey look at that i tell you the roof wasn't like that but now it is different and again 
You can see today mama boy put her water outside here where people will be washing their hands because as they eat there they need to come to the toilet and also today she left the doors the door open yeah i don't know whether she has got water here wow so that one is good she has got water here so right now you know i was there up there and i left when there was work that was taking place here so wow look at the pigeon wow so they are eating today they've get used to the place now they don't uh, uh, be afraid even if the guys are sitting here you can see they are enjoying the meal wow oh they are eating the what are they eating let me check yeah i think they are eating the the feed that we bought for them yeah they are enjoying also you can see our gentleman here they are also at lunch lunch break yeah, and we have got Baba, Baba Achieng. Ama Devis. Ama Baba Devis. Yeah, we should say Baba Devis. Yeah, Baba Devis is here. He's also enjoying the meal. Yeah, and the carpenter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, so you see, this is high table. Yeah, in Africa, you know, elder, elderly people are very respected. So you see they are eating on the table. And uh, at, the, at, the, at this side, the children... They are seated down. That is Africa, you know. Oh, this one. Eh? How do you call these chilies? Eh? Papa. Oh, African chilies, man. So nice. So who is eating this? All of us. Can Can you show us how you eat it? <laughs> like this. <laughs> Just like that? No, 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 no. You'll be sick, man. <laughs> yeah. So guys, uh, the work is going on very well. As you can see, they have fixed this kind of timbers. The one that you see here. Yeah, they have refixed them. Yeah, ah, but uh, the, the 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 timbers have remained a lot, eh? Uh huh. Of course, yes. But this one was uh, to be used here, or you've used, you've removed the the ragged one, the one that one not good, eh? Yeah. So you can see this one is new. There is another one that is new. I think they found most of them were were strong. Yeah, so, hey, look at this. Mama boy is going to have a new roof. So, generally, if we are here, there is now mama boy inside house. The only thing that is not here is just a table that is being used outside. Then here is her bedroom. I'm sorry, guys, you know she's my mother. Uh, but uh, I'll just let you know how her bedroom looks. This is her bed. And uh, I'm sorry, guys. Just bear with me. This is her mattress. Wow. I didn't know she has got, she's living in this kind of life. But the reality is she cannot afford buying. Yeah. If she starts saving money to get, she might take a long time for her to, to, to get. But now this is the general thing that she has. Even the beddings, you can just see. Wow. So, so, in this way. Yeah. So, I too, I need to eat, but I like the view, the view, you know, from here, mama boy can be watching the river as it flows, that is river Kuja, you might think it is not flowing, but you see, yeah, the big river over there, yeah, so guys, I'm going to eat here, so that we catch up later, they are also using these rubbers, yeah, let, 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 let me show you, yeah, you see, yeah, there are rubbers here, you can see, they put the rubber. Yeah, this one is helping the, the roof not to leak. Yeah, so after lunch, now the work is progressing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they are on this, I, I can say last phase. Yeah, they want to finish the other side, then they come here. Yeah, I think uh, two hours, three hours from now, they'll just be done. Yeah, so as you can see, this kind of timbers are the ones that have been has been added. Yeah, so they just renovated uh, new timbers on it. Yeah, not every timber. So let me just show you. I think uh, there's some materials that we bought, but I did not show you. Uh, uh, Irang. Yeah, so these ones, the rubber band. 
we also bought them so this one's about 10 yeah about 10 of them i think i've got the receipt here let me just show you what we bought let me check so that we go on the same at the same pace eh? yeah so here okay the table is still dirty and tidy because people just finished eating the lunch here yeah so you can see here a quantity we have got this receipt we have got quantity here quantity so quantity we bought uh, 32 so 32 we bought three meters iron sheet that is dumusas so each is a 1050 totaling up to 33,600 shillings then ridges the one that i showed you last time uh, when we came ridges uh 4000 so meaning we bought 10 of them and each one of them was uh, 400 Kenyan shillings then roofing nails uh, we bought 10 kgs too because you can see here 10 that is quantity and uh, it is uh, 2500 Kenyan shillings then uh, we bought uh, 5 inches nails you can see 3 three kgs then 4 inches nails we bought 3 kgs and uh, uh, this is a uh, yeah roofing rubbers yeah roofing rubbers the one that i showed you we bought 10 pieces and uh, each is uh, like 100 kenyan shillings so it is a uh, 1000 kenyan shillings yeah so this 1700 kenyan shillings it is the to total of five inches nail four inches nail and also three inches nail so it is totaling to 1700 kenyan shillings it was totaling to 10 10 kilograms and each one of them here is 170 per kilogram so the total amount that we've used is uh, 42,000 this is 42,800 kenyan shillings as you can see here 42,800 kenyan shillings that is for the material transportation i've already told you 1,500 that that's what we paid plus the labor the labor is going to be uh, 4500 kenyan shillings for it to be all done yeah so the total amount that it is going to cost is a uh, oh boy 42800 plus 1500 how much is that you are taking a pen yeah help me so we want to see how much it's going to cost to do the roof uh, the, the the roof of this house 42800 42 my boy is helping me and also I'm doing 42800 uh -huh, 42800 plus 1500 42800 uh -huh. Plus, plus uh -huh, 44,300 Kenyan shillings. That is what a boy has found and already me here. Plus 4,500. 48,800. Yeah, so it is totaling to 48,000 for us to do the oil roof, uh, to change the roof of this house. Today we are going to use 48,000. 800 kenyan shillings today that's gonna make mama boy to have an, a new a roof on her house yeah so but uh we, we received uh 46 000 kenyan shillings that is what i received so meaning we are going to use uh 2800 extra money here yeah i thought the money was to remain so that we start constructing a kitchen here but the measurement we're just going to take, I'm going to talk to the carpenter so that we do the measurement. I know God will bring so that Mama Boy will have a toilet. So thank you very much, Auntie Jay and also Uncle for supporting a boy and his mom to get a beautiful roof on their house. And God bless you. Uh, we are going to show you uh, the final part of what has happened here. Yeah, so guys, uh, right now, wow, 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 look at this, 
you know when we were starting it it was having this kind of iron sheet on top of it this one that you see here but now you can see a magnificent work and i'm so happy mama boy now has got a beautiful nice roof right now he is putting ridges they are putting the ridges you know uncle told me i need a beautiful work i don't need something that's not nice but guys you can see yeah very neat one so we are on the final touches of this work i think uh, it's going to end uh, maybe very late yeah very very late let me show you we forced it right now it is 5 51 p.m 5 51 p.m only nine minutes to six and guys you remember the time that i woke up yeah so oh the ridge and uh, baba baba frank he has been here from morning up to now you know I'm here. <laughs> he was the one that was acting like a laborer here yeah he was giving the materials you know so he has been very very supportive today yeah so this side it has been finished yeah now the only part that is remaining you see up there it is the only part that is remaining and uh, the ridges this side we haven't placed the ridges i was waiting for them so that they show me uh after it has been finished and uh, mama boy is here and also we have got uh, her say hello <laughs> what's me <new>? hello. <laughs> hello how are you uh now she's drinking porridge at mama a boy here guys that is a porridge and porridge is made from cassava and uh Cassava and millet. Tumna ema inya lor na matin. Iko na copyright. Sasa mama boy. Teach koro sa timoreka. The work has been good here. Are you happy? I'm very happy. Very very happy. Yeah. yeah are you having a new roof? Yes. Wow. God is good, guys. I'm also very very happy. The work has been completed. Almost completed because uh, the part that is remaining is just a small small parts like this side the ridge and also here now even if you are inside the house you can see yeah it's looking so amazing so nice and i love it yeah so when my boy get to the kitchen uh, the chick kitchen he will uh, remove these ones towards that place over there my boy don't more mangen sana kabisa yeah so guys my boy is very very happy yeah here at the here at the bedroom you can see everything is okay yeah of course i've already shown you her bedroom now we are just going to wait for the work to be finished so that i show you the end product you can see this ridge here the gutter that is uh, taking the water down it's also looking beautiful and again uh, there was one of our lady uh, who is coming from uh, uh, switzerland she was asking me what if we doesn't use mud and uh, cow dung? We just use a uh, cement. Yeah, that is also a good idea, guys. Uh, if we can come together so that we make her wall to be cement, that one will be a good idea. As per me, it's going to be something so nice. Yeah. So okay, if we'll come uh, in agreement that we can make this wall to be cemented, we can. Uh, I can go look for the mason so that we do the quotation. So that we can do it, yeah. And again, after they've finished, there is work that they wanna measure for me here. That is the to, uh, the 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 kitchen somewhere here. So that one we are going to negotiate with them, so that we see what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. So guys, uh, finally, even though the work is still ongoing, but uh, it's we are coming to the end of this work today. It's been a very tiresome day. Uh, let me just show you the time. You know right now you can see it is 6 33 mama boy is going to continue with sweeping her house and uh, the job has just been well done yeah you can see that is now the ridge wow looking so amazing i tell you so maybe if we get the fisher board wow it's gonna be looking so nice yeah so you can see she's uh doing the sweeping here and uh, she's very very happy guys i'm so so happy me too and uh seth seth is also here guys i know you haven't met him and uh he's called seth or baba who baba jane. baba jane he's very young gentleman here but uh he has been blessed 
with a child called Jenny. Jenny, Baba Jenny. Yeah, he's home. He's there. He's a brother to Danish. I know that you guys are going to get connected with him like that. Yeah, so that place that you see that guy is putting, it is the only remaining place. So guys, even if I end the video without uh, completing it, while showing you while it's complete, I know tomorrow is also another day. You guys are going to get a privilege. It is almost almost getting dark. Now, from the road, let's say somebody's walking here. Wow, I tell you, it's going to be looking so neat. Wow, people, you know when some uh, the person who passed here very early in the morning, when they come back, like right now, they may, they, they may be astonished, like asking, wow, what happened, you know, because uh, they might not know. Or maybe somebody who was not here some two months back, when they come back, they might see the toilet is here, new roof, wow, I tell you. Look at that compound, guys, look at what you guys are doing here. I'm so, so happy. And again, today the rain is not going to rain because... Uh, you can see that is a sign covenant that God made with the, his people. Whenever we see this, it's, it shows like there is not going to be rain. Yeah, that is a rainbow. Yeah, so it shows like there is not going to be a rain here. So guys, I'm so, so happy, super happy. And thank you very much for supporting Mama Boy. Get such wonderful things in her home. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to express this feeling. Yeah, so at a prayer lady's home, uh, the job uh, has completed today officially. So tomorrow, what we'll be following is just handing over the toilet to her so that she can have her toilet. But guys, I'll be giving you the quotation of the materials, of uh, the, uh, the amount that uh, has been used there for the prayer lady toilet. And uh, something just let, to let you know, I told you uh, the money for the mason today's work. I wasn't there because yesterday too I added another extra uh, carpenter to help me fix the, the doors so I had to it forced me I had to use my own because I did not budget for that but I didn't get money yeah there's some that I get yesterday uh, it was a donation and it was uh, given as my present so it has I had I had to use that so yesterday I used five one thousand five hundred and today too I used one thousand five hundred to pay the mason so totaling to 3000 kenyan shillings but i thank god it, it come to completion today yeah so still in the village everything is moving along very well thank you for bringing happiness into mama boy's home you know when i came here i have got one of my moms in usa that is america and uh, she said uh okay before the same thing let's now let's first of all focus on the roof but the roof is done and uh, maybe uh, the kitchen is also going to be done. So after this, we are going to do the setting of the kitchen. If not today, maybe tomorrow, so that uh, she may have the kitchen. Because uncle, I used extra money, but you already sent some extra six thousand on top. And uh, the remaining amount that is going to remain, we are going to start measuring the kitchen with that money. So guys, if you are coming across this channel for the first time and you haven't subscribed, please consider by subscribing to my YouTube channel at Otenga Junior. Yeah, that's the only way that you're going to show me love. Because there will reach a time that uh, we might be doing these such kind of things alone. If we get good views, we get good money, good cash flow, then we can be doing these ones alone without even requesting for donation. But right now we depend on donation because that kind of money we cannot afford. But we are hoping with the kind work that we are doing here, God will allow more people to come and watch our videos. Thank you very much, guys. God bless you. Let's meet tomorrow at Prayer Lady's Home as we give her her toilet. And you remember her, uh, she requested for a light. And uh, in return, we gave her some shopping, I know. So, uh, somebody asked me how much is the light. The light, uh, the one we bought for Mama Boy, cost 13,500 Kenyan, Kenyan shillings. So, anybody who's willing to support her, we will highly appreciate that. Because with the light, now you can see me because it is light. But if it is dark, you can't see me. So, light is everything in human uh, being life. So, thank you very much and keep supporting. Bye-bye. Love you all.